Hello everyone, Chip Cheese Chump here, and today we're doing a two for McDoofer in the world of Fallout New Vegas. That's right, we got two mods. We're doing War Trash 2, we got Desert Ranger Combat Armor, and we got, my goodness, the whole old gang here, including Trentosaurus, who has been with us just since the first video Trentosaurus was... I'm kidding. So, uh, I was going to be doing, uh... Siege of Firebase Zulu, uh, turns out that was, uh, 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 April Fool's joke. I got it a little bit late, but since, uh, that was canceled, I already had the crew. I'd set them up before I tested it, because, whoops. And, uh, you know what I said? Let's, let's finish War Trash 2. We never finished it. By Josh Badrider. And, uh, both War Trashes are very good mods. So, uh, let's, let's, let's get into some good modage, everyone, all right? Going back some classics. We're just gonna have a good time, all right? It's gonna be a good Friday, but not that type of good Friday, because then we can't eat meat, I think. So to begin with, we have a uh, distress beacon from our good friend Edmund, who was in the beginning of War Trash 1. I could be lying. Shit. Your six scream, Edmund. If you can hear this broadcast, then please, I need your help. I'm pinned down by some slavers northwest of Brooks Tumbleweed Ranch. I can't reach McCarran Foxtrot. Shit! I don't know how you're feeling about me these days, but I certainly hope you don't want me dead. I'm gonna try and loop this transmission. If it suddenly stops, then maybe I won. Maybe I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. Northwest Brooks Tumbleweed Ranch. Hurry! All right. So, uh, that was the message. Hurry, six, scram, Edmund. How do I finish? You can hear this broadcast, and please, I Turn need off. your help. Message. Oh, guys, can you like leave me alone? Jerry, get over here. Take these sluts out. What? Just because I'm in a car, you can't attack me? Yeah. Go. The Kaiser no, I didn't mean. For death. <sighs> Shit, I need help. Oh god, I need help. Help me. Yeah, go for the legs. The, the, the weakest part of the body. Actually, probably... Yeah, Cuddle's kicking ass. That's what I'm talking about. Got a survivor. You guys don't have to sneak. And here comes Steven Ballarms. Oh my god, is that too- Steve, did you bring your cousin? Oh, no, Steve. Look. Yeah, this is a hypothetical... R random... Sweat dream. I don't- I don't know what the actual context of the lore is, Steve. Did you get bigger? What- what happened? Did the- Okay, alright. You know what, we're just gonna flow with it. Just like we used to do. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna figure this out. We're just gonna have two Steves now. So, whatever. <laughs> oh man, we gotta help our friend. I completely forgot. He's trying to solve this mystery. Edmonton! Edmund! Hold on to your horses, Edmonton. Helps on the way as you get shot point blank in the face. God dang it. I do not, in fact, like any of this. I mean, actually, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> I was replying to that guy. It was in reference to the battle. Holy! Are we are we also being attacked from the back, or is? All right, we got the leader. Oh, they died together. It's always good when when you die together. It's great, two buds. 
taking a few brewskis to heaven, eh? Uh, Edmonton. Thanks for pulling my ass out the fire. Looks like I owe you again. Anytime I get to pull your ass is a good day. First things first, how about an explanation? This was a sanctuary for escaped slaves. I came here looking for answers, but... Uh, looks like Hale beat me to it. What happened to the escaped slaves? They're dead. Every one of them. Even... Dobby? The search isn't going well, is it? No. The NCR isn't too concerned about the slave trade. I've been on my own so far, but... I'm gonna need your help again. Oh, Edmund. Of course you will. What exactly do you want me to do? I need you to talk to my superior, General Kurtz. You have to convince him to go after Hale. Why can't you talk to him? Uh, the truth is, being head of the DAI doesn't mean much anymore. I take everything I say, then do the opposite. But they listen to the hero of the NCR. Oh, Edmund. I do this one thing that I'm done. Someone has to bring Hale to justice. I'm in. Good. I'll take you to Kurtz. He's an asshole, but... Well, yeah, he's a total asshole. <laughs> Alright, Edmund. I am going to search the burnt-out church, though. As is tradition, I shall inspect the weapons. Stephen! Inspect these weapons. Stephen? Okay, Steve's coming. Steve Steve does this at his own pace. There he is. You are way too big, Steve. Yeah, way too many chimichangas in the past few years. You disappear for a year and a half. It's been way longer than that. And there is another rad roach following us. You know what I think's happening? Steve's remote controlling this rad roach. Looks like she escaped from life. Catch the body, Steve. I'm gonna drop it, alright? Yeah! Oh. We could have done, like, Weekend at Bernie's. <gasps> oh my god, she blinked! We gotta go! She just... <laughs> no, she's alive! <laughs> oh... Oh my god. Long day, am I right? Oof, ketchup on the back. Why does this slave quarters have a, uh... Oh no, they're escaped. Never mind. They built this city on rock, roll, and death. Ooh. You know what? We did get a, uh... We installed uh, last week a new animation pack. And I would like to see what the, uh, light machine gun looks like. Okay, there's... Alright. We're figuring this out right now, because you're both in here. Now, look. I know when I started this before... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Stop, bl stop blaming each other! Okay, alright. Does anyone want to help? Trent? Trent? Okay, you're the real Steve. Farewell, imposter. And poof goes the dragon. Alright. Does anyone want to volunteer to head into the, uh, fire? Oh, wait. S Steve, wait. Steve, we do I do this all the time now in New Vegas. Come over here. Come over here. Keep turning. Keep turning. Come over here. There you go. Alright, chill out. Chill out. Stop. Stop. Who's that handsome baby? It's Steve. General Kurtz? I'd like to have a word Agent with you. Agent Edmund. I was perfectly content not hearing your shit today. What do you want? Sir, I've brought Courier 6 here to tell you something. Fall arms. You might want to hear this. Stop. If he's gonna go into one of your damn diatribes, then... No, I don't. Yes, yeah, stand up to him. Literally. Let me guess. This is about those sex slaves. Am I correct? You're not wrong. Uh, no, I came here to humor him. <laughs> That's right, and you need to do something. A very astute observation, General. That's right, you need to do something about it. Um... Yeah. Don't you come in my office giving me orders, goddammit! <laughs> I'll tell you what I told him. 
We're planning an invasion of Legion Held, Arizona. But these sex slaves. I don't have the manpower, nor the time to be stomping around looking for a pimp. Hell, yeah. you should be on the front line yourself. Hey, let's calm down here. With all due respect, Sir General Oliver is planning the invasion, not you. Now look here. We're trying to protect people. The innocent women and children that you two care so much about. What do you think the Legion is doing to those same people out in Arizona? Just tow that company line while your superiors forget about you. Good job. What about the people you're supposed to be protecting now? I'm not getting into an argument with you. Now get out of my office. Come on, Six. This is pointless. We have to show him what love means. He won't accept. Sorry, Steve. Alright. Where's, uh, there we are. What can I do for you? What have you been up to? Uh, what are you, why are you going so hard after hail? The NCR invaded Arizona. Wanna play, no. Uh, nice weather we're having. Uh, <laughs> Who else will? The NCR doesn't give a shit and people of the Mojave can't rely on you forever. Are you saying you want to be the next savior of the Mojave? <laughs> Hell no. That's what I said, okay. I mean, we can't have a savior of the Mojave at all. We need something more substantial, more permanent. A parade of saviors. Perhaps a concert of saviors. You're right, I'll be gone one day. I can handle it while you worry about your die. Uh, you're right. Yeah, and guys like Hale will live on. We need to fix that. Do you want me to kill him? What have you been up to? Um, I guess we'll just ask him, sure. Uh, nothing, mostly. After the Mojave Bridge, things got... Difficult for me. They blame me for the attack, and rightfully so, honestly. For some reason, they decided to keep me on as head of the DAI. Of course, they greatly reduced my power, so they might as well have gotten rid of me. Officially, I've been doing recon in Arizona for the invasion, but I put most of my effort into finding Hale. How was the investigation going before you asked for my help? It wasn't going anywhere. Honestly, I was thinking about giving up we didn't find anything at that factory. The NCR invaded Arizona? I guess that shows how much attention you've been paying to recent events, huh? Sorry. Yep. They've done a few spec ops attacks for a couple months now, but the main force just went in... Mm, three days ago? Why wasn't I informed? What, what are they after? And they say they want to wipe out the Legion once and for all, but they're really just after more land so they can charge more taxes. Taxes? Um, goodbye. Alright, catch you later. Smell you later. Oh, I was supposed to walk over here. Whoops. Edmund. I was expecting him to be a little more susceptible. Sorry. I wait. guess we are on our own now. Alright. Can you do that? I'm a big boy. I can do whatever I want. I can change my pants. Uh, so what next? We don't have any clues. I got a report about some factory or something out by Westside. I checked it out a few weeks ago, but didn't find anything. Maybe a new set of eyes will help. Oh, the machine gun, that's right. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Look at the stars, they're beautiful. Toying with you, Incorporated. Is there anyone, uh... Outside? Alright. I'm good for that. Let's dance. This is it. Empty last time I came here. Just stay on guard. Alright. Company memo. Sure you've all heard several parents have decided to take legal action against toying with you. I, of course, do not condone the death of children on my watch, but I would also like to make my position perfectly clear. We use live ammo in our army toys strictly for authentic authenticity's sake, and our effortless simmer stove uses nuclear energy solely to ensure the finest quality baked goods. <laughs> we will compensate the families. His brother provided clients with counterfeit money. It does not give anyone the right to accuse us of intentionally using lead paint on our toys. <laughs> I'll be the first to give my apologies to the family of the janitor who fell into the vat of molten lava. I will ask for forgiveness on behalf of my security team for not detecting those dead toys for you employees in our dumpsters sooner. I'll even apologize for cheating on my cancer-stricken wife with an underage girl. Jeez! 
But I will not apologize for false accusations. We do not knowingly purchase anything using counterfeit money, much less lead-based paint tainted with mercury. Now please get back to work making the okayest toys on the planet. Due to legal reasons, we can no longer lay claim to making the greatest toys on the planet. Bob, I got a problem with one of the employees, a guy named McGool, working up in research. He's gone soft on us. Says if we keep holding Toys for You employees over the vat of lava, asking about their company secrets, he's going to report us to the authorities. Says he's got a friend of his working at ABC, and if anything happens to him, he'll have this friend blow the lid on the whole thing. I was just thinking what a terrible shame it'd be if McGool was involved in some kind of accident. Maybe, for example, he was up in the catwalks and was being careless, falls right into the lava. Let's say he grabs onto a chain at the last minute and only loses his legs. <gasps> then, perhaps someone comes by and gouges his eyes out with a pen before pissing in his face. You know, he'd be on fire because of the lava, and the piss would surely put the fire out. But then the chain got slippery and he fell in, but no one knows what happened because the lava melted every trace of him. I know it sounds strange, but it would still be horrible if it happened. I want to hear about this not happening tomorrow, understood? The other Mr. D. The one in your pants. Yeah, exactly. Gotta shave that D. You know, I got a lead on Hale a few months ago. So I said they saw an armed man escorting a group of chained women in some beach resort or something. This was out of California, of course. Of course. Well, I followed up on it. The place was empty. No sign anyone had been there since before the war broke out, which was fishy enough. I ended up finding a secret entrance to a basement. The place was full of rotting corpses. Nice. I tried looking for such a thing here, but I didn't find anything. Keep an eye out for a hatch or something on the ground level. Right, looking for a hatch. Molten lava. And a big bottle of Nuka Cola. Outside. Oh, yeah, there we are. I just want to go up real quick and look at the battle up lava. Very excited. There it is. Beautiful. A charming tourist spot to visit. If you're ever in New Vegas, go visit the toy factory. It's great. There we go. My god. God, the smell. A hidden cafeteria. So he was burning documents and cleaning up. Must have known I was on board. Damn it. So what do we do now? You're right. We've got to lick all the blood up. Yes, with our tongues. <laughs> um, anyone alive? Probably not. Whoa, Jesus crikey. Who let J.J. Abrams in here? A job offer? Congratulations are in order, Mr. Edmund, and to your friend. Oh, no. Courier 6 as well. No one's ever come this close to finding me. They certainly never found one of my hideouts. You really are good. It's just too bad your friends at the NCR don't take notice of your skills. Ideally, I'd like to offer both of you a job, convince you that the NCR doesn't care about you, and that you can achieve more under my tutelage. But we both know that's not going to happen, or maybe it will. Who can say? Whatever. Who? What? Yeah. Blue Moon Paradise Beach Resort. Whenever you're ready, meet me there. Bring your flute. Let me see. Excuse me. God bless you. Yeah, you read that note. Yeah, you read it hard. Hey, he's been toying with me for weeks now. Every one of them had your name on, too. Guess after what happened with Zola, he figured you were helping me. This is obviously a trap, but it's not like we have any other leads. Nice knowing you, Six. Nice knowing you, Edmund. Why do you say that? Don't be so optimistic. Why do you say that? Come on, this has trap written all over it. Like I said, it was nice knowing you. Then we died. The mistakes we make... ...are pretty great. Prologue. The Outcast. Ooh, cave. Ooh, ladder. Ooh, J.J. Abrams. <laughs> uh, march onward to your noble death. <laughs> 
Don't mind us, battle. We're not Watch here out. for the... Okay, all right. No, wait, Edmonton. What the hell's going on? I think someone walked into our trap. What should we do? We could go out there, but we don't know who these guys are. I think we should wait it out, but I'll leave it up to you. There's no point in helping a potential enemy. We'll wait. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's help him. If you say so. There we go. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, no. Wait, stop shooting cuddles. He's cool. This guy not cool. Alright. Oh, the queen! The queen's here. Not for long, though. There we go. <laughs> Damn. Hell's holiday. Knowles, take it easy. I think these two are after the same thing we are. Uh, we're after Hale? Yes. Well done. Bet you never thought you'd see me again. You're right, Brooklyn. I never thought I'd see you. See, in my dreams, you did say we'd meet again. I can say the same thing. Look how angry Jerry is. <laughs> yes, I did. I meant that in a good way, just so you know. Who are these meatheads? They're my mercenaries. You believe that? Oh, you. For a thousand caps a month, I can make them jump off a bridge if I want to. Oh, gee. Oh, you. Why are you after Hale? Justice. Same as you. Justice? Do you not believe me? Or are you more interested in killing him? You know about Hale. Oh, your friend here is a sharp one. He's pretty secretive. So I put a contract on him? No, I have my own reasons. Ah, revenge. Well, if that's the case, Six, looks like we got some backup. How much are you gonna pay? Calm down, you'll get your caps. Hope you found a lead in there because we've got nothing. Not very subtle, are you? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it was empty. I'm guessing this was some kind of trap, but people always do underestimate me. Guess we hit a dead end. Does that mean you have a suggestion? Uh, yeah. It means I've got a lot more than that. A little morsel of goodness. You know, big things come in small packages. Insert joke here. Really? You're gonna make that kind of joke? What? I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, nothing. <laughs> Hale's main business is selling women and children at underground auctions. And I got us into one. Nice. I mean, y you know what I... How generous. Are you sure that's the kind of place you want to go to? How generous. But of course. <laughs> Knowles, Anders, keep looking around here, then go back to the HQ. Why don't you see if you can wrap up the Monroe contract without me holding your hand? Oh, no. <laughs> The Monroe <laughs> contract. You see what I have to put up with? This is daily basis stuff here. What's the Monroe contract? You should see McCarran. Go to the slave auction. Hey, what's up? Not much, just, you know, slave auction. Um. Alright. How's it going? Pretty good. Are you you are you okay? Can you stand up? Fine, Anders. Don't talk to us. Um. Yes. Yeah, we'll ask Noel some questions. How about that weather? Fuck off. <laughs> so we've reached that point, have we? Well, you are pooping in front of That's me. That's not something you need to know. I don't mean to sound like an asshole, but really, I got nothing to say to you. <laughs> Someone once criticized me for asking people about their past without actually caring. You sounds like a smart guy. <laughs> he was a bad man. He had some good things to say, yeah. I killed him. Little pearls of wisdom like that are about as much as anyone can hope for these days, huh? 
I'm sorry. I'm not inclined to share my shortcomings with strangers. That's okay. You mind if I ask my own question now? Sure. It's been going on four years since you showed in the Mojave. Since then, you've been a bounty hunter, met a beautiful woman to travel with, freed slaves in Denver, marched across country to Vermont, and of course, you stopped Brooklyn's old gang from taking over New Vegas. You've done everything there is to do, seen everything there is to see, and yet, you're still here. Why is that? Oh, man. It's a deep question, Knowles. Why do you ask? It doesn't sound too much like a question. I want to put an end to the slave trade. Why do you ask? Because something's not right here. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, why do you think this matters? You fight for every cause that comes along. What can possibly motivate you to risk your life every day without thinking about the consequences? Oh, I can't die. I don't need money to motivate me like people because war is a game, a fun one. That's just what I do. <sighs> this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Forget it. You do what you want to do, and I'll do the same. He's so angry. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Why'd you join Brooklyn? <sighs> Money's good. Lame excuse, isn't it? Uh, NCR? I don't care one way or the other. I know a lot of grunts. They're just trying to do the right thing. Or uh, earn some caps. Legion? Fuck em. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we will talk to uh, Brooklyn in a bit. But we've all got our sweet, awesome poses. I'm gonna take my 20 companions to uh, the slave auction. Should I change my... Uh, also, I'm wearing my reading glasses today. <laughs> Is Trenosaurus with us? Okay, good. Trinosaurus, we've taken you back in time. I'm sorry. It's the only way to save you. Oh, I think I remember this slave auction part. Okay, here's the plan. I'm sorry, who put you in charge? Oh, excuse me. I didn't realize you memorized the layout of the building. Well then, by all means. Thank you. They're going to frisk you and take your weapons. Try to hold on to a knife or pistol or something. The girls aren't kept here permanently, only the ones to be sold. You. Graham. Edmund. Right, Edmund. Sneak in the rooms backstage. I'm going upstairs. Six. I want you in the crowd and scout the place out. Make sure no one's on to us. You should join the bidding, Six. <laughs> Feeling lonely? No. If Six buys the girls, then we can free them. All right, but be careful. I don't know how they'll react to a new face. Ready? So is it okay if I wear my glaring NCR armor? <laughs> Probably not. Now I'm some weird combination. I don't know what I am. All right, let's go. Hello. Lift up your arms. You lift your arms up. Sure thing. All right, go on in. Thanks, Vlad. Don't start any fights and you'll be just fine. Probably. Ah, oh, damn it. Compato Machine. Following building interferes with the mod Strangers Abroad Chapter 1. Would you like to play that? What? Oh, we're doing War Trash 2. Well, that's awesome. Huh. Do we have any leftover weapons? Nope, we're, we got nothing. Just gotta use my karate. Nope, I remember this. Bid on the slaves so you can free them, or don't. Whoa, 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 everyone, it's, uh, is everyone gonna get angry because Steve's here? Is everyone afraid of Steve? Or maybe they're afraid of slaves. Yeah, I think you're scaring them. Uh, don't worry, it's just my friend. 
Don't worry, ma'am. Ma'am, it's okay. Everyone calm yourselves. I know it's a rat roach. He's fine. He's here for business. Where's the uh, showrunner? Everyone shut the fuck up. We're starting the bidding. <laughs> 